Hi everybody, Patty Dooley here with Tupperware. Today I'm doing a little bread recipe for you. Uh, this has been done by consultants for quite a number of years. Many years ago, consultants would make the recipe up the, like the day before, carry the loaves of bread to the parties and uh, give it away as gifts and stuff. But if you've ever had the mix and fix bowl, I believe it's like 19 cup bowl, they mix the whole bread recipe up in here. Uh, what happens is you're supposed to put the lid on and then when the bread rises it's supposed to pop the lid off. So we will see how that works today. Um, if you don't have the mix and fix bowl, they're not something that's generally in the catalog. They come out on special sales and stuff throughout the year. You can comment or get in touch with me and I'll let you know when they're out. This black and orange one just happens to be mine from a couple of years ago that they had out during the fall. So generally, the, you know, it's like a nice clear bottom, frosted lid, colored lid, whatever. But today we're going to do the bread recipe. Now this recipe makes four loaves of bread. My plan is to do two loaves in my bread maker. I'm just going to put it on the bake uh, set, uh, setting of my bread machines and then two loaves in the freezer and I'll put the two loaves in the freezer before the second rice so whenever I take it out to use them at a later time then I can allow it to set out that amount of time that it'll take for it to rise again and then just put it in the oven so we'll see how that works but this recipe calls for three and three-fourths cup of warm water so we're going to put that in the fix and mix bowl you just mix everything in here and then it calls for three quarter ounce packages of yeast. I'm going to put this in here. And then it calls for, let's see, six tablespoons of sugar. We're going to sprinkle that around in here. Five teaspoons of salt. Two eggs. And six tablespoons of butter. So we're going to pour all that in here. I'm just going to give it a list, a little bit of stir before we pour in the flour. But now it calls for ten cups of flour. First, you're going to put five cups of flour in here and do it with the mixer, the handheld mixer. And then the second five cups of flour you'll do by hand so I may speed the video up I may just come back cut and then come back and show you what it's like but we'll see Already, I can smell the yeast, and oh, it smells like heaven. Okay. That looks pretty good there. Set that off to the side. I'm just going to give this a stir. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. And then we're going to pour in the next five cups of flour. So this is going to get kind of stiff. I may have to do some by hand. Leave a little bit of the flour out for kneading. But you're not really supposed to just have to knead it. You just mix it all in the bowl and leave it in the bowl. I'm 
mix in a little bit here at a time. You can always add more flour, you just can't take the flour away. So my suggestion is do part of it, maybe in thirds, mix it in there. say is I love the smell of yeast and making bread. I do have some plans on making some focaccia bread and some uh, pita. get into it with our hands here in a few minutes, but that'll be okay. Now you could probably do this, so like you like flavored bread, rosemary, herb bread, stuff like this. Maybe uh, put in some fresh herbs, some Italian seasoning, have some awesome Italian breads. Maybe make some garlic bread. Maybe put in some uh, crushed garlic or probably garlic powder. You can see how it's mixing up there. And this is the last part of our flour. this bit in here see how it goes but we'll let it set well once we get it done we'll put the seal on top and then we're going to uh, let it set for about an hour probably hour and a half I think here I'm gonna have to get into using my hands getting a little stiff and just pick that up and knead that flour in there you don't want to be real hard with it. Make your bread tough if you over knead your bread. Use your fingers here in the bowl. Just lift it up and pick up some of that flour that's on the bottom with it. And I have to tell you, there's nothing better than a bread smell cooking on a cold day in the oven or in your bread machine. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try mine in the bread machine so that way on the second rise we're going to take the bread pans out of the bread machine first and then uh, of course, you know, do what you have to do to bread to, before you put it back in there and then uh, just put it on the bake setting okay We've got almost all of this flour kneaded in there starting to get a little bit sticky again but we'll see We will see how this goes. I'm going to put the seal on it. And then in about, maybe I'll have time to catch it as it pops the lid off. I'll try to keep a real close eye on it and see. But there's the dough in the bowl. We don't have to take it out and do anything else to it. I'm supposed to just let it sit in here and rise. So we'll put the seal on. hear that snap there we'll burp it a little bit and we'll come back later in about an hour and a half hour hour and a half and see how the seal has popped off the bowl 
and then continue with our bread recipe. So you just stay tuned and I will be back in just a little bit. Bye. Hi everybody, now I'm back with the uh, mix and store bowl uh, bread recipe. I did not catch it popping the lid, but I promise you it popped the lid. I was busy doing something else and wasn't really expecting it and poof it went off. And, it was, and it's been just a little over an hour, so I'm going to lift the lid and let you look at it and see how much it has doubled in this bowl that is the whole bowl is just really almost completely filled other than you know just around the edges but it really did pop the lid <laughs> so what I'm gonna do from here I'm gonna sprinkle a little flour out here on my counter dust my hands a little bit and then I'm just going to punch down in the center and start bringing it in from the side. Work it loose from the bowl. It's still just a tad bit sticky. And then we're going to dump it out onto the counter. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's a huge thing of bread. <laughs> But we're going to just begin to pull it in some to you. You don't want to need this a whole bunch. Like I said before, you will overwork the dough. And that's what gives it a rough texture. We just want to work some of the air back out a little bit. Until it's just not so sticky. Then I'm going to shape it into just, it's supposed to make four loaves, but I have one bread pan that does a two pound loaf and one that does a one pound loaf. And then I'm going to do a, one in the freezer. So I thought I would go ahead and just divide it up into thirds and see how that works. So we're going to cut this off here. Or one loaf and then we're gonna I want the probably the middle one to go in my two pound pan and we're gonna set this over here like I said it's still a little bit sticky redust my hands here but just maybe a little bit on the side so it's not so sticky. Like I said, I don't want to knead it too much to make the bread dough too tough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here because it's bigger than the other two. It's just sort of round it up, take my two pound bread pan and then just set that down inside there. I haven't greased or anything. I really never grease my bread pans. But we're going to put it in here. That's the two pound. And then we're going to take this for the one pound bread pan. And I'm just going to set my bread machines to a uh, bake setting on mine. And then I'm going to let it rise while it sets in there. For another 40 minutes and we're just going to set that one right down in here so as you can see that's the one pound that's the two pound and then i'm going to take this one here and i'm not going to let it rise the second time i'm going to take and wrap this in some clear wrap and then put it in the freezer. I'm going to shape it into a loaf or rectangle. And then put this in the freezer and mark it. And then whenever I get ready for some bread, say like maybe next week or something, I want to do another loaf of bread, put it in my uh, thing. I can take it out, let it rise, put it in there, and then just cook it. And what I'm trying to do is not heat up my house because it's still kind of warm here, still 90 degrees. But it's still like uh, fresh bread. 
So we're going to take this one, wrap it, and put these on for another 40 minutes to set and then bake. And then when we have finished bread, I will come back and show you how it looks. And then we'll just see how fast and easy this bread recipe is. So just continue to be here and watching and I will be back in just a bit to show you the last part of the video. Hi everybody, Patty Dooley here. I have come to the end of the bread making and I just took it out of my bread machines. This one you can see in my two pound, it cooked well up over the, the container. So I could probably use a little bit less in it next time. But look at that. I mean, is that not gorgeous or what? Uh, if you were here to smell it, you can hear the solid sound to it. Is that cool? I know some happy people this afternoon when we have dinner. And then this is the one pound. I probably could have put just a little bit more in here. But you can hear the, the doneness of it. Once again, it smells amazing. I have one that's in the freezer. Now, I don't know how that's going to turn out, but we will do it and see. Maybe next week I'll take it out and let it thaw in the bread machine and then try cooking it and doing a little video on that one. But tonight, we are going to have bread for dinner and probably some really good sandwiches tomorrow with the bread. So, if you would like to know more about Tupperware and what we offer like the fix and mix bowl you know any number of things that we offer the stuff that I worked on this today uh, just contact me I'll be happy to talk to you about it uh, if you'd like to there goes my bread machine beeper uh, get with me on a party or something you say hey Patty I've been watching your videos for a while now and I really I would like to book a party uh, just contact me. I'd be happy to uh, get with you on that. Just comment below or email me however you need to. And as always, anytime you watch my videos, if you will contact me for a current catalog and bro sales brochure, I will get one in the mail to you. So you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoy trying the bread recipe. If you have questions about it, like I said, just contact me and I'll be glad to help you. Uh, until next time, like, subscribe, and share. I would love for you to uh, share my videos with others and have you come back time after time because I'm going to be doing a lot more recipes. Um, one I think I'll tell you about now is here in about a week. I will probably do one or within the week from Mediterranean deviled eggs. You won't want to miss that one. And how are we going to do the eggs? In the smart steamer. So uh, subscribe and see what other videos I come up with. You have a great day. Bye.